Hey guys, it's me Black Arts here. I'm gonna show you how to add motion to your Minecraft render and you're gonna need to animate it. Uh, that's only because you're gonna need a render or you can just use another render from other applications and you're gonna need PS Touch. And this tutorial is gonna be used on PS Touch. So yeah, let's get started. So once you go to PS Touch and you render, um, load in the Minecraft render, go to the bottom right and press the plus and make an empty layer. After that, go to the left middle and just go to poly on tool after that i usually um start anywhere right like right here and I usually make a semi-circle so let me do that, do that real quick now not always it will be perfect so i'll be uh, i'll try again all right uh that's how it's gonna be and I'm gonna go to the top right to the left and go to the and and fill in stroke After that change the color and make it black And after that uh, deselect uh, right here And after that go to the right here where this is And just move it around And after that um just shape up the mouth a little bit however you want so I'm gonna I usually put it to the side of the face like right here and I usually make it like skinnier so like that and you can make it however you want I'm just gonna put it like that cuz that's my usual style of putting in your mouth cuz uh, I at least think it's kind of good just like that and after that I'm just gonna fix the corners of it so uh, I'm gonna make the brush smaller and just gonna make it how it is 20 hardness 20 and yeah it's just kind of be a fade to it so I'm gonna fix the corners but not too much just like that but not too much because it would look kind of weird so like that and I'm just gonna make it more straight because if you can you can try to make it perfect like that All right, so after that it's time for the eyes now for the eyes. Um, I usually uh, use the polygon tool and Use the eyes and um, like go to each corner of it like this and There you go and go to the bottom right and press the plus and use layer from selection and I'm gonna do that to the other side go back to the render um, layer and just go back to it and do it again all right we're done with that so we're gonna go to the render layer and get the polygon tool and just color it all in even the red part of the or the color of the eye part so like this, go to each corner of the eye and just do that. And make sure it's on the render layer and fill in stroke and make the same color as the eye. So I'm just gonna make the capacity of the color all the way zero. And I'm gonna use the white, the same color, and there it is. Now, if I try to take off the eye, it works. Now, if you really want to be in detail, you can also color it in because you might have to take off the eye part of the layer just to see it clearly. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna color that in and that's it. And yeah, I'm gonna add an eye to it. Now, what I usually do is I'm gonna make the eye layer smaller and I'm gonna fill it into the eye socket thingy. So yeah, let me do that real quick like this. Now you can just um, shape it up like this because it gives you the option to do that. I'm gonna go like this. Now, I, might, uh, I usually try to make it even as possible, so it doesn't look kind of weird. Just like this, like that, all right, perfect. 
and I'm gonna take out the eye. I'm gonna go back to the render layer. I'm just gonna go to the each corner of the eye almost and go like this. I want to um, almost fill up the whole entire eye, like uh, one third or uh, one fourth of it, uh, three fourths of it. I'm just gonna go like this. Just because I want to take out the, um, the eyes right here, the eye part right here, that's outside of the white part. So, uh, I'm just going to clear it so it looks like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could extrude it. So, let me try to do that real quick. And I'm going to do this right here. And you can make it smaller like if you want to you can go extrude it and if you don't know how to extrude um i can leave a district uh description like leave the link how to extrude in the description if you really wanted to or you can just search um you can just you uh, look at my most popular video uh which is how i extrude which is pretty simple so just do what i do or you can just look at what uh the tutorial so it looks kind of like that, which I don't really want to do, but I guess I can try to do that. So let me do that. Just like that. But I don't think it looks good. I don't prefer it. I just rather it plain. And if you could, you could add a drop shadow. Now it doesn't have to be way dark. Just small. Make the blur small as heck. And make the distance very, really small, like three. And make the percentage really, really small. But that's if you want. And there you go. Just like that. But I'm not going to do it. Alright, so you're gonna, do, um, you're gonna do the same steps on the other side of the eye. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. There you go. So after you do that, um, I'm just gonna extrude the hair. And well, that you don't really have to extrude the hair. Just add that motion. But I just prefer it because it looks way better. So I'm just gonna do that. But if you if you don't know how to extrude the hair, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that right now. You can just look at my um uh, my extruding tutorials, and you can just look at those and you can learn how to extrude. So yeah, just look at those if you don't know how to extrude, but I'm gonna just extrude real quick. Okay guys, I'm done with doing that, and after that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add some eyebrows to it. So, uh, just make an empty layer. Go to the well. This, this is the circle tool. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it just looks like a square. So I'm gonna just use that and just make a square, a long square like this. Press and 
pound stroke and just use whatever colors um like the hair color he um, the person uses like this person uses brown so I'm just gonna make a dark brown so yeah and after you make it like that just move it around right here and I'm just gonna uh, put it under the hair extrude make it long And just make it covering the top part of the eye. Make sure the eyebrow is on top of the eye layer, but not on top of the hair layer. And duplicate it if you want to. It's easier. And adding eyebrows usually makes it look better. And you can also make it longer like this. Like that. And I uh, usually just make it the uh, eyebrow a bit higher so you can see how the eye is like how it's above the eye in a way like the eye um, this pupils um, inside the eye just like that so let me do that to the other eyebrow So after you've done that, uh, I guess you're pretty much done. So yeah, I that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else to add to the emotion that I do. I don't really do anything else. But if you really want to, you can add an effect. That's what I usually do when I edit. So uh, when I'm editing my videos, I usually add this little eye thingy to the... It's like an eye reflect. I'm not sure what it's called. And also, I gotta fix this real quick because the pupil is a little bit out of the eye. So, let me do that. There you go. So, um, basically, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but uh, it's just basically uh, a dark circle. Um, it's a dark surrounding, it's like a dark glow surrounding the eye. And to some people, it might look cool or something like that. And that's what people do. So basically, just, just make an empty layer, fill it in, just like I did. And use another layer, use the polyon tool, and just um, get the eye and cover, um, just get each corner and do it like that. And once you do that, go back to the um, fill in. Uh, Fill in um, layer and just go to the pencil tool. Oops, do not use fade. Uh, go to the pencil tool, press clear. Go to FX, press glow. And make the color black. And make the blur however you want. Just like this, if you want to. And you can make it look like that and you can make the make the eye look like that and you can make it darker however you want and make it look like that and if you wanted to you can make it darker and darker I'm not sure how you prefer it so I'm just gonna make it how I want it to I don't usually make it dark at all like too dark and I'm gonna do that again so I'm just gonna speed it up Alright guys, uh, I'm just gonna add one more thing. So on the eye pupil, I'm just gonna add a little glow to it. So go to the painter um, paint tool. I'm gonna make the brush small enough to it's in the pupil. I'm gonna make the harness and flow all the way, a capacity all the way also. I'm gonna make the color white. I'm gonna fill it in like this. Just one like straight as possible line 
and go to FX and make uh, make it Gaussian blur and just make it blurred like this. Go to the layer um, by the plus sign at the top um, bottom right. Make it liner dodge or overlay. Yeah, overlay. Make it look like that. And there we go. That's how you can add a motion to your Minecraft render. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.